So I've been sitting here trying to make a video for like 15 minutes and every time I start, I lose my train of thought. And it's not necessarily because I don't know what I want to talk about. There are various things I want to talk about. It's just thinking of exactly which direction I want to take it um, because it has to do with two totally different things. One part is sharing um, a couple things that I've come across and things that I find enlightening. And then there's also another part is just sharing my normal, not even mundane thoughts, but just my normal thoughts and feelings towards occurrences happening right now. Um, it's amazing how you can have so many different social perspectives in your life to where there are certain people that you can communicate one way and there are other people that you automatically snap into a different mode um, and communicate with those people another way. Now, example of what I mean by that is when you are talking to in reference, we'll say when you're talking to your best friend or your confidant or someone that you feel super comfortable with or you feel 100% understands you, you generally take the wall down, you don't mask anything, you don't filter anything, and you don't try to sugarcoat it, you just say as is. You don't try to be proper because you know no matter how it comes out that that other person's going to understand and know what you were talking about or where you're coming from, right? Now, when you talk to the general public, as in making a video or a vlog or writing a a story or a book or a paper or anything, then you snap into this generally speaking mode of where you try to make it proper and you try to make it level and you try to make it to where a lot of people understand and you don't want it to be too biased or unbiased either way. You want it to be well balanced all the way around. So there's some people who can click, 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 click and make that happen and there's some people who just cannot do it at all. Then some people who say that are able to click it like that they are liars or they are not genuine and not real but that it's not true. That's like separating personal from business. Now I have no idea if this video is going to make sense but I've got so much in my head right now and I'm trying to sort out some things and relating it to a whole bunch of different situations and snapping in my generally speaking mode, speaking to the general public. Um, it makes it a little bit difficult to kind of sort things out, but those of you who know me kind of know what I'm talking about. It makes it even that much more interesting, doesn't it? Now, there have been a couple things that have been brought to my attention that have made me think on and reflect on my whole vlogging, YouTube, MySpace, internet, image, experience, what I am trying to do or what I am doing, with the reasoning behind why I do stuff. And I can't say the conclusion I have come to because I haven't necessarily come to a conclusion. I'm still kind of thinking about it. But the reason why I vlog, and the reason why I began to vlog in the first place was just to get comfortable with myself and get my voice out there in ways. Not necessarily having a certain goal or ambition in mind, just wanting to become more and more comfortable in my skin, more and more comfortable in my beliefs, myself, and um, in the way I interpret or perceive information or, or happenings or experiences throughout my life. Um, and I know that the reason why I feel it's important for me to express that is because growing up, I feel like I didn't have very many resources to... Uh, I didn't have very many people that led by example or that I could look up to. Uh, you know, you could look at celebrities and you could do the whole celebrity route, but you know, that, that side, movies and entertainment is great, but there's no depth to it. Uh, it's only, it's, it's just on the surface. There's nothing more to it. It doesn't touch in here. So to find something that you relate to that kind of touches in here, you know, normal people go to like religion or the spirituality, which is a huge part of it. Um, which is still something that you cannot fully define in a lot of ways, especially when you get to the point where you are so spiritual that you can't even pinpoint it to a specific type of religion. It just exists and it's just there. Um, that's a whole nother world in itself. Now, so my so me going to put my opinion out there um, was to be able to listen to myself and see kind of what I sounded like and, and like I said before, get comfortable in my skin um, and really understand what I was saying. And then also be able to try to put it out there uh, for the people who who felt the same way were, but were either A, afraid to put it out there or B, know where to look for it or C, 
have the resources to be able to find like-minded people in their lives, depending on where they live or where they're located. I know they're few and far between around here, and then some people are, you know, able to have access to the most amazing tools and networking um, abilities ever and never utilize it, and that's kind of sad. Uh, but anyways, so the reason why I vlog and the reason why I have my MySpace um, and put myself out there so much is merely for sharing my moments, um, whether they are understandable to some people or not. They're there to be seen, um, related to, used as an example, uh, used to what not to do. Uh, you, you know, take it as you will. And I'm okay with that. Yes, me putting myself out there puts me out to be judged um, and misjudged quite a bit. But that is part of, that's part of the deal. Take the good with the bad. Now, those of you who are going out there and, 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 and especially young people, Man, teenagers, you guys are so ungrounded and lost. And trust me, I completely can relate. And in all honesty, feels like I was just there um, not very long ago. I'm just now feeling like I'm kind of coming out of that because it's taken me this long to come, be comfortable enough to come out of my shell and not have to worry about the impact of what other people thought. Um, you know, so many of you are concerned about coming out of the broom closet and telling your parents how you feel and all of this such. Now, what you have to realize is that you're not coming out. It's so different. I guess it's kind of relating to like coming out when you're gay, you know, um, you can't not be comfortable with yourself. Oh, I can't get on this subject right now. It's so totally different. And now I'm rambling and now I lost my train of thought because this is what happens. I will get stuck on one thought and go on one road and then something will catch my eye along the way and I'll take off and want to go down that road because I get all excited or I've got so many opinions and thoughts and feelings of what it arises and brings out of me there. So yeah, I sound like a crazy person, but it's awesome, this is very therapeutic. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna kinda end it on that, I think. Actually, no, I know where I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back on track and say that um, going back to vlogging and such, my opinion, okay, what I need to know or what I would like to know from you guys is now, what you have to realize is I do read every single message. Um, it may take me a while to get to read them all, but when I do read them, I do read them all. Now, I do not reply to every one of them. Um, what allows me to pick and choose which ones to apply to or, or reply to and whatnot, I have to say a lot of it has to do with um, if it's something that I've repeatedly spoken about over and over and over, uh, then I usually don't reply to those messages, what type of books, because I try to put a focal point or a type of referral point for people to go to. If you need books, I got my Shelfari. Uh, there's videos of things, you know, I've talked about, and then there's, you know, different blogs and such of, of books that I've recommended, and I, I'll continue to mention them here and there. But to continually talk about a certain subject is very draining, uh, takes the meaning and effect out of it a lot of ways, and also uh, takes the attention of expanding and moving on to bigger and better things. Not that they are bigger and better for some, but I'm just saying in general. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then like being able to help, there are some people that come to me for help asking my advice and such. In, in all honesty, there's a lot of times where I don't feel comfortable giving advice. Uh, and I don't necessarily know how to respond because I don't want to seem inconsiderate um, and insensitive to what is going on because I have great, great compassion for anybody um, and what they're going through and can understand and take it for what it is and accept people for who they are. But to be the one to take on the responsibility of helping those out there that I can't necessarily help is uh, something that I'm not used to. It's very new to me and I may not handle it the, the best way possible, but it's definitely a learning experience. Um, so yeah, this is kind of something that's just kind of, I don't want to say it's gotten under my skin, but it's got me thinking big time. And you know who you are that brought it up. 
as my gears turn in. Um, so anyways, I'm so back and forth. Yeah, I'm just going to end it. I got to go. 